So now you're ready to modify your original program to allow you to control the LEDs on your light up piano. I am going to resave this program with a different name just so you have access to both if you ever want to go back to the one without LEDs. So I'm going to pick File, Save As, and just give this one a new name like My Piano LEDs and then click OK. So now you have a new copy of your program saved and you're ready to make modifications. The first thing you're going to need to do is create a variable that allows you to control the pin that controls the LEDs. So I'm going to go over here and click on the variables button and then click on make a variable. That will bring up a pop-up window asking you to enter a variable name. So click in the text box and you will need to type this exactly. Enter GPIO22. That tells the program that you are going to use the Raspberry Pi's General Purpose Input and Output, or GPIO, pin number 22 to control this LED. So type that in and press OK. Now you can see that there are a bunch of new blocks on the left that allow you to control the variable you just created. You're going to use the set command to set the variable to either 1 or 0, which corresponds to turning the LED on or off respectively. So what you want to do is click and drag out the set command and snap it below the play sound command for your first button. So I'm going to click and drag this one out and it'll snap into place just like the blocks you used previously. Now I mentioned that turning the LED on corresponds to 1 and right now it says 0 here so you want to click in that little text box and type 1 instead of 0. So now the code is telling it to play a sound when you press the button, and then turn the LED on. We wanted to wait for a brief period of time and then turn the LED off. So we are going to go back to the control menu, find the wait block, drag that out, and the default tells it to wait for one second, which is a little too long. So again, you can click in the text box and change that to a smaller number. I am going to use 0.1 or one tenth of a second. Now, after that brief pause, you need your program to turn the LED off again. So you can go back to the variable menu by clicking on the variable button and then drag out a new set command and this one you're going to leave as set GPIO 22 to 0. So now your block of code as soon as you press the arrow key will play the sound, turn the LED on, wait one tenth of a second, and then turn the LED off. 